I covered the basics of randomization in my second tutorial video. This will cover all the details, all the modes, how they work, other useful things that go with it. I'm going to start with something wasn't covered in the earlier overview, and that is in play mode. Now if we put in a very simple little pattern like so, go up in octaves just so it's obvious, last step step four so it's just going to be a very quick bit of nothing we go into play mode playing forward playing backwards ping ponging ping pong two where it repeats the first and last steps and then random mode that's a very nice thing but there's more you can do Click on my step, click and hold, 100. That means 100% 100 chance that step's going to play. So let's change that. 50%, 50%, 50%, 50% and 50%. In forward mode. So that's pretty obvious. So it's percentages there, uh, left and right, 10, 25, 50, 75, 90, and 100. Put them back to 100. You might wonder what these other numbers are that we keep on running into, and I will tell you in a moment. Put them all back to 100. Now, those other numbers, the fractions, one out of two. That means every two times a particular pattern plays, it's only going to play once. Sometimes you've got to stop it and restart it to get it synchronized. So you notice every second time they're all blank because each step is only playing once out of every two cycles and then these other ones change those probabilities so a little bit of uh, mathematics or random noodling you can get some pretty interesting cycles which may not repeat for some long time out of just four notes, a little bit subharmonican style. So that's that, certainly worth knowing, I think. But most of the randomizing goodness lies in the randomize pattern option. Shift random pattern, press this, you get a salad of everything. Give us a chance though to show how to delete individual bits of modula modulation. Shift accents and then shift clear. I'll show you where the accents are. Get rid of it. Shift slide. Shift clear. Show you where the slides are. Just about everywhere. Get rid of them. Shift pitch modulation. Shift clear so as you can hear it's returned to something vaguely human like still pretty terrible though let's go back into shift randomized pattern with most of these parameters either you just have a single option which is a percentage chance it'll be applied like for example here in the accents press and hold percentage chance it'll be applied we're going to take that back to zero just for now the slides are the same you just get a percentage chance we'll take that back to zero as well modulation is an example of the way that a lot of the other functions work which is you get a minimum and a maximum amount and that's what the random will be randomly populated then it'll be within those minimum maximum bounds 
So modulation, which is filter modulation, minus, well, it goes from minus 50 to plus 50. We'll select minus 30 to plus 30. Pitch envelope. This works in a slightly different way. The right hand one gives you a percentage chance that a particular step will have pitch modulation, so 99% down to zero. The left hand one gives you the maximum pitch modulation amount. So let's just play that. Hit. Nine is the maximum, 99% chance, so they'll all get a pitch modulated step. Now the thing here which is a little bit sad is that normally, if you're wanting to apply pitch envelope, you get two values. The left hand value is the decay, and the right hand value is the intensity. So, long with a short intensity, or short with a long intensity, and that gives you quite a variation. But in the random pattern pitch envelope, all you get is a maximum amount. So, it's nine, which means you'll get everything under that or let's say a three, which means everything will be three or under. So the decay will be three or under and the intensity will be three and under, which is a little bit sad really. So if we look at, going to pitch envelope, we examine the steps, three and three, two and two, one and two, three and one, two and two, three and one, you get the idea. So. Um, still useful but you just don't get the same degree of control now last step is just a simple percentage chance and this is the distribution of gates it's always on c and we're still getting those pitch envelopes there so let's get rid of them envelope, shift clear, okay back in the random pattern, last step which is the gates, let's take it back to 50%. Just put the gate probability up to 99%. Give that a blast. Just so I can illustrate the next one, which under play mode is similar to the start where we looked at play mode, which is number of steps per cycle. So one step every two cycles. Actually, let's change. We'll keep the one step in two cycles. Just give that a couple of hits. Now we'll examine what that has given us. Press and hold. So we're in play mode now. Press and hold. 90% chance of it happening. 90%, 100%. Three cycles in four, 90% chance. Two cycles in three, two cycles in three, three and four, 90% chance. So it's given us a mixture of purely random percent chance of a step hitting and steps which will only hit on a specific number of cycles. So that's a really interesting way to mix it up. Transpose is gates and gate length. It's a left and right, so minimum and maximum. So let's go from 10 to 100. Last one is scale. If 
you just press and hold it, again you get minimum and maximum. So at its default, you get a real wide distribution of pitches which are unlikely to align themselves in any melodically pleasing way. Certainly you can constrain the range and that helps a lot. But still not going to get you anything particularly pleasing, I don't think. Here's an empty pattern. Distribute the gates, 50%, they'll be on C. Go into scale. C minor. Back into randomized pattern. Go into scale. It's in C minor between 1F and 2B. So you've got a much better chance there of getting something usable. You might want to go one step further though, and under scales go down to one of the, uh, it's in this place, user scales. There's a little octave. Let's say we choose uh, to keep just two notes, let's say um, F and A. So we've just got two notes in our user scale. You can bring notes back in if you want. But we'll just keep these two notes. To save that user scale, just press and hold the record button and you'll see SAV come up. Now that user scale's been saved back into randomized pattern. Now when we hit scale it'll just be in the with those two notes from our user scale. Adjust the note range, make it a bit wider. Get some new gate distribution. Hit scale again to make sure we get them back into our scale. Maybe we need more gates. Let's go up to 80% gates. Scale. It's filter modulation. Minus 30 to plus 30. Let's get some filter mod in there. Go back into scale. Let's just have one note. But we will have a large octave range. So that's not too bad. Quick save that. Now in the pattern itself, is it actually starting here? Well, let's say it's here that we thought that is a nice start point. Well, that's a bit of a problem because that is not where 
the pattern is starting so what do you do well it's pretty cumbersome really I think to get around it It'd be nice if there was a way you could say Beam, start point you could go into last step and define a first and well you'd have to double the length and then say this is the first step and then in bar two that'd be the last step um, makes it pretty messy though I think a simpler way it's not that much simpler but a bit simpler is to say okay that's where you want it to start so go into last step bar two press the last step we're now 32 steps long these two we want to be the first step so we'll go shift copy these two go into bar two shift paste paste them here so there's our first two steps go back to bar one shift copy now we want the rest of the steps so from here to here Go into bar 2, shift paste, paste from here. So now bar 1 is this weird thing where this is the start and that's where we want it to play, but bar 2 is actually what we want. So we'd go shift copy in bar 2, we are in bar 2, yes, here to here, go back to bar 1, shift paste paste it from the start of bar one now go into the length the last step we only want 16 steps so now it should start where we want it to start and just play 16 steps let's see how that's gone and it's not a fantastic pattern but you see the, you see the method to get the start point back to where we want it now let's say after all this, we're happy with those randomization settings. Let's go back into random pattern. What do we have? So zero chance of an accent, zero chance of a slide, filter modulation from negative to positive 30, pitch envelope. Mm. Always have no possibility of pitch envelope. Gate distribution 80%. Let's take that to 70. Play mode, which is the interesting random chance plus steps per cycle mode. Um, maybe we'll just leave that at 100. Gate length 10 to 100, let's leave that like that, and scale with our range. Let's keep it reasonably wide. And of course the scale was our one note user scale. So if we're happy with all that, we're still in random pattern mode. Press and hold record button this AV comes up so now we've saved those randomization settings if we go into a random pattern again and hit this we will get all our customized savings except for one thing we don't get the scale Worse than that, even though the scale is supposedly saved per bank, when you hit scale, we're still not getting our user scale that we saved. So you've got to go back into scale and you see it's just defaulted again. So let's go back into our user scale. There's just two notes there. Back into random pattern, hit scale. it's back in the user scale. Advanced randomization. Until next time. See ya.